Hello and welcome to your Vedic Lunar Scope for today, the 18th of June, 2015. The moon is traveling through the latter portions of its own sign of cancer today. And as the moon enjoys being in its own sign, there is a certain level of confidence and comfort that is associated with the day. But I should stress a certain level of comfort and confidence that's associated with the day. And the reason for not a large amount of comfort and confidence because of that association is because the moon has recently been new. And when the moon is new, when the moon is still dark, it doesn't have quite the level of radiance and vibrance that it needs to provide an extra level of that. The moon is somewhat weakened, it's somewhat compromised, so you can be somewhat weak but still confident. And that's more of the energetic association, at least in terms of the moon today, which will also be traveling through the nakshatra or lunar mansion of Punar Vasu. Now Punar Vasu gives the capacity for substance to be gained, energy to be gained. It creates a holding space where energy can come together and gather in strength and gather in substance towards a directed goal. And with the energy of the day, things are moving along relatively smoothly and beginning to build towards the potential of future success. But in connection with that, there's a nagging uncertainty that's still kind of lurking in the back of your mind um, about the situation that you're dealing with. And there's some energy getting diverted to that nagging uncertainty, which is keeping you from bringing together all of the resources that you need ultimately in order to be truly successful with the day's events. In order to understand this more fully, we need to take a look at the uh, lunar tithi, or lunar day, and the solar lunar yoga. The lunar tithi is shukla tritya. It's the third day of the bright half of the moon. And with this particular day, there's a lack of strength and a lack of full awareness that is keeping you from being able to uh, put two and two together and have it make four, <laughs> if you follow what I'm saying. In other words, it's difficult to make the connections uh, to see how one thing connects with another and ultimately creates uh, something that would let you have more confidence in the fact that you're going to be successful with this event. Instead, you're missing something. You're not fully able to, to see something which otherwise might help you out in dealing with the circumstance that you're dealing with. The solar lunar yoga today is Dhruva. And Dhruva means immovable. But with the energies that are connected with Dhruva, it can mean that there's a tendency to be somewhat all over the place or disconnected or it's hard to pull all your resources together, as uh, we were saying before. So there needs to be a further level of discipline. But luckily with the moon in Punarvasu, you've got a space where that can come together and where that can bring you to the space that you need to be in in order to be truly successful. So you're not fully there yet, but things are beginning to move in a more positive direction. The best advice for today, well, to just try to be calm Try to take a deeper look at your situation to allow it to come to you rather than trying to force it to come to you. You don't want to create a storm. Instead, you want to be relaxed and let everything come together in a manner that you will truly be able to understand. If you've got a perplexing situation going on in your life, I should mention that I do offer a vast range of astrological services, which are available through my astrological services page of the website. And there's a link to that further down in this YouTube video. If that link is no longer open, there's also a link further down in the description area. If you've been enjoying these daily videos, I'm also going to be doing a course over late autumn or in the winter with fellow astrologer Ryan Korzak about the nakshatras. And you should begin to see little teasers from that course on uh, YouTube sometime soon. That's going to do it for your Vedic Lunar Scope for today. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now.